What's going on YouTube? You already read the title, most likely. We're gonna talk about these big puppy dogs. So I found some questions on Google. We're just gonna answer questions about these doggies. Let's figure it out. I guess I should introduce you first. This is Chloe. This is Chloe and this is Pepper over here. She's probably not gonna be in the video a lot because she doesn't like to she likes to snuggle and be close to me, but she doesn't really like to put her face around me as much because she knows I'll pet her and then she doesn't like that. She gets annoyed. So, um, so are Great Danes good pets? I would say yes. And I think I like them better than smaller dogs because they do this all the time. This is their, uh, this is what they do. They sleep and then they, uh, I just woke up too. So that's why I'm kind of like drowsy, but they sleep a lot and then they um that's it they sleep and they play and when they run they run pretty quick but they mostly play for like an hour or 30 minutes and then they're kind of ready to come back inside will a great dane attack an intruder they act like they will um but they probably won't i chloe barks really loud and she gets super excited this one pepper she like low growls if anybody if anybody was going to get bit by one of these two dogs, it'd be by this one. But she's pretty lazy. So I don't think that she would. She would have to feel like she was really scared to bite somebody, I feel like. They, they're pretenders. They want to pretend like they're um, about it and they're really not. Why shouldn't I get a Great Dane? I would say you shouldn't because you don't want to spend time with them. Like if you think that you're not going to spend enough time with them I think but I think that's any dog you know so I would say if you don't uh, think that you'll have the time to spend with them then you probably shouldn't get one if you don't think that you can afford to f feed them uh, if you don't think you could feed them probably not and then if you don't think that you could afford their shots and like uh, get them fixed now we haven't got these ones fixed um, but the reason why we haven't is because supposedly and i don't know you can correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but if you get them fixed um they're more prone to like heart disease and uh and like bone disease joint problems and a whole bunch of other stuff that's kind of like onset stuff that happens so there's that oh let's look at pepper pig for a minute um are male or female great danes better these are both females and i think we like females better because they they are a little bit more protective i've heard i don't know it probably depends on the owner and if you're the owner's a female or a male but for example um these dogs are really protective over my spouse but they're not protective over me they'll like hide behind me but they won't hide behind uh my wife if, if uh somebody comes in to the house or into a room that they didn't really expect to be there um and my wife is the only one there, they get super pissed. They get they growl and they bark real loud and they'll stand over uh, the person and like not be happy with them. But if that same thing happened to me, they would not, they'd do this. This would, this would be the reaction because I guess they think that I'm gonna protect them and that they protect my wife. So, Chloe's gets a big yawn in, big yawn. Why do Great Danes lean on you? I don't know, but they do. Chloe is a really big leaner. She's always leaning on me. She's always leaning. Uh, Pepper, not really so much. But Pepper is a lot shorter. Chloe is a little bit taller. And uh, I don't know. I couldn't. I don't know that one for sure. Uh, are Great Dance protective over their owners? I already kind of answered that one. But they are over, uh, I guess, somebody that's in, I, I guess, that's like the pack mentality, right? Like, maybe not the person in the house that's the more dominant one but then the non-dominant one yeah i don't know depends on your personality probably i would say do great danes like to cuddle uh depends on the dog but i would imagine yeah i mean they they like to sleep and they like to be comfortable and they have like four beds in this house and they're all in this bed and i would just say that we don't normally let them sleep on the bed but since uh it's laundry day or whatever today and this weekend it's it's friday today i had friday off but um 
usually we do our laundry like bed stuff on the weekend so we'll probably wash the sheets and the blankets soon so that's why poor pepper is not getting any uh camera time here she's just over there she's kicking me right here in my side and it's great why does my great great dane stink uh because it's a dog all dogs stink usually i mean i don't i don't think that's a breed thing i mean they they stink sometimes it's whatever you give them a bath i think that's one of those should i get a dog thing if you're not willing to take care of them because they're not going to go in the shower and wash themselves you know if you're not willing to take care of them then you probably shouldn't have them what age do great danes calm down uh i don't know that's a good question it i think it depends on the dog but usually after about two years they're Saddled Chloe still gets excited though. She'll still bark at cars when they come up. She still gets the runarounds. If I let them both outside after they've been inside for a long time, they will like do sprints around the house. So I don't, if that's what you're talking about, like the zoomies or whatever, that never really goes away. So you kind of have to have somewhere, I would say not necessarily a lot of space because they don't do much exercising, but. They do like to run, and when they do run, it's pretty quick. Can Great Danes be left alone all day? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can also chain a dog up in a yard next to a tree or on a tree or, you know, go out there one one hour a day or five minutes a day, give it a treat, and then go back inside and pretend like you're taking care of it. Um, I mean, yeah, you can leave them inside. What dog can't you leave inside? I mean, you they ain't going to die. They're... You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think that's kind of a weird question. Maybe they're talking about, like, can they hold the bathroom while you're gone all day? Maybe that's what it means. And in that case, I would say, yeah. We try not to do that, though. I live, like, seven minutes from my house. I mean, I work seven minutes from my house, Jesus. And uh, if my wife's not going to be home, then I usually come home on lunch and uh, let them out for five or ten minutes and usually they like just pee in the yard and they run around and they come back inside and they go back to sleep but they're they're pretty lazy i mean they unless you're outside with them or something th this is what they do all all the time again so it's whatever why do great danes like to sit on you i have no idea chloe sits on me all the time chloe's laying on me right now so who knows why they why they do that are great danes smart i would say this is this is kind of a this is kind of a weird question because they are, but they don't seem like it because they are so lazy and lethargic all the time. They're pretty smart. I mean, they know I, I like have a few different phrases I'll say to them and then know exactly what I mean. They even know like sometimes when I have to leave for work or I have to go to a different state to do something, they'll know if I'm carrying a bag to the car, depending on what bag it is, they'll know how long I'm going to be gone. So like they, and I've, I've taken them on trips too. So they'll like, they know when you're packing up and you're ready to leave. Like they, they know, I don't know. They actually know how to manipulate you too, because they know that it, something like my wife's gone right now and I'm home today. So she fed them this morning, most likely. I mean, I'll call her and ask her, but, um, they'll go down there, whether they fed her, whether they, whether they have been fed or not. And they'll pretend like they hadn't got fed. So that way they get fed again, if that makes sense. So that's that's one thing to think about. Sorry you don't get to get a sea pepper that much. She's just over there being stank. Uh, are Great Danes dangerous? I would imagine so. I mean, if I, again, depends on the dog, but if you walk up to one that you don't know and you kick it, it's probably going to be dangerous. I would imagine, but I think that's any dog. Do Great Danes get attached to one person? I would say yeah. I would say yeah for sure. They, I know it seems like they're attached to me maybe, but they're really not. They're really attached to my wife more than anybody. I think that they just know that I'll protect them. That's kind of my role, but the nurturing um, attachment role is definitely not me. But they definitely like to see her a lot more than they like to see me. Are Great Danes easy to potty train? This is a kind of a cool thing that we used to do with Chloe that worked really well and we stopped doing it when we moved from Florida we used to live in Pensacola Florida but we would tie a uh, bell on the door handle for the outside door oh you awake Peppa you're awake 
She's gonna lay back down and go to bed. She's gonna lay back down. She's gonna lay back down. Yeah, she, uh, see, she's not very... She's pouting because I was petting her. Anyway, are they easy to potty train? I would say no more than any other dog, but when Chloe was a little puppy, we put a uh, bell on the door. And uh, anyway, every time we'd go out, let her out, we'd go ring the door and then we'd let her out. And we, I think then we had to walk her on a leash and, and a collar and stuff. Now we live in the woods, so it doesn't, I just let them outside. But um, anyway, uh, every time we'd go out, we'd ring the door, the bell, and then we'd walk her outside. And then she got to where she would know that the bell is connected to the outside stuff. So she would, every time she'd have to go potty, or if she just wanted to go outside, she would go down and hit the bell and uh, be like, hey, let me outside. So I don't think it would be very hard to teach her to do that again. We just don't have a bell at this house. Do Great Danes poop a lot? Yes, their poops are huge. I wouldn't say that they poop more than like twice a day, but they, when they do poop, it's like the size of a dinner plate. Are Great Dane puppies disruptive? I ow, ow. Look at that. You know, rip my nipple off. The hell you doing? Okay. Are Great Dane puppies disruptive? Yeah. Well, I think it depends on. Yes, they all puppies are are destructive. I think I said disruptive, but they're all just destructive. But Chloe, uh, she chewed a pair of Oakleys. Like $200 pair of Oakley, so that kind of sucked. Other than that, she didn't really break much. She chewed on a uh, windowsill, and that was pretty easy to fix. And then some other stuff, but it, it wasn't that bad. But Oakley's definitely sucked. Are Great Danes hard to train? No, they're not hard to train. They're pretty... As long as you do, I feel like, do it from, like, a good place. Like, you don't... You can give them, like, negative feedback and positive feedback. So, like, you can ignore the negative stuff and praise the positive stuff that works they know though if they uh they'll get spanked and you know you could you have your own opinions about that probably but if they jump up on somebody they get their asses beat and they don't and that's why they don't do it that's really hurting you're hurting um yeah, so they don't jump up, and they, they know it. And even when they meet new people and they get excited, they'll, like, hop on their front two feet, and they know they want to do it, but they'll know they'll get spanked if they uh, if they don't. Talking about training them, too, Chloe, when she was a puppy, and the reason why I'm talking about Chloe so much when she was a puppy is because we didn't have Pepper when she was a puppy. Pepper's a, she's a new addition, so we adopted Pepper. But when Chloe, ow. When Chloe was a puppy, she uh, used to, she tried to growl at me a couple times. Her slobber just went everywhere. She tried to growl at me a couple times. And uh, she got spanked pretty good then. And she learned real quick not to growl at us. And I think that's something that maybe that's why. She still barks at random people. Let's say hey to Peppa. Let's say hey to the Peppa Pig. Let's say hey to the Peppa Pig. Oh god. So now yep, see now Chloe's sitting on me. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Uh training them's not hard as long as you do it from a good place, I feel like. Unless they growl at you and then I would that's something that I'm not gonna put up with, especially my own dogs. If they if they're growling, like actually growling at you, I will beat their asses, but that's just me. Oh, uh, what are the rarest Great Dane color? I don't know. Let's see what it says. White. Okay, so white's the rarest color. Another another thing to look up. I don't know why. Oh, let's do a couple more. Average lifespan. Look at how damn crazy she looks right now. Uh, average lifespan, I think, is seven to nine years. I've heard of some dogs passing away... Uh, at like five years old so it depends on how big they are these dogs are pretty small um 
So they're probably going to live pretty good. Most expensive color. Harlequin, Harlequin coat. I don't know anything about Harlequin color stuffs. Um, I think Harlequin is black and white. So like kind of like this color. But I don't know. Uh, and... Let's just do that. That'll be good. This video is already getting too long. But thank you for watching the video. Thanks for watching Pepper Wake Up. Um, Chloe's over there in the bathroom. So we appreciate you. Th oh, you kick me. You kick him. You kick him. So that's it. That's our normal morning. This is what we do every morning. But at least when I'm off, we just lay on each other. And then I think about getting up. So talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.